All right, guys. I see a lot of classic metal in here. What do you say we go inside and check it out? So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. Hey guys, um, we're with Greg. Greg. And here's the deal, we're driving up to the Black Diamond show, like you guys know and you'll see, but um, I'm just coming up 19, 19, yep, 19, 19, and I don't even know what town we're in. Uh, we're between, we're almost to Homosassa. Okay, so, so Homosassa. Between which Spring is, Hill and Crystal River. So below Ocala, <laughs> but above Tampa. Yes, yes. And I looked over, and I'll show you the view in a minute, because I'll cut into it, but I saw a, a, a pole barn or whatever opened up and I see all this old chrome in there and I'm like I gotta stop here right. so I walked in and I mean you know so yeah. so tell me a little I, bit about I got a little old iron in here but uh, now um, do you build it I mean I see some I, stuff under I've restoration a, yeah I got a few projects back in here I got my personal car I'm restoring right here uh, but for the most part uh, I moved down here a year ago a little okay. over a year ago now from Indiana okay and uh, to start a classic car dealership so okay I buy sell I do consignments okay yeah and I do work on do you have a website or anything yes, missionclassics.com okay so, yeah and you're close enough to 75 right? I mean we're not far enough that if somebody sees something on here they could reach out to you right. and it could be shipped right I right. mean yeah I can ship as a dealer I can ship around the world so, right and oh, yeah. this is close enough that that's not a problem right. or anything right. else so right. have you always built cars like what was your or are you just a car guy yeah, I've, I've always been a car guy I started restoring cars when I was 14 years old okay I built around 70 to date that's why I look so bad today <laughs> yeah, I, know that feeling. Uh, I bought and sold a lot more than that uh, I moved to St. Louis uh, a few years back and was a classic car salesman over there. Okay. And then uh, this opportunity here came up and weighing my options uh, around the country where the best place was right. to go. Florida, tax purposes, and then this building here just kind of fell in my lap. So, it's either Florida or Tennessee because right, right, zero taxes, right. a lot of car guys, easy right. to ship, good weather. Right. I looked at the area and from Spring Hills to Clearwater, it was full. You know, right. And then Harley Davidson built a big, beautiful facility up here in Crystal River. Right. I thought if they did that there, this is the next wave of an expansion. And, so, and I've lived here 30 years, so, and yeah, it probably yeah, is up here because yeah. it's the only place with Ocala with not, NPDs, right. headquarters right. is here too. Right. So and they extended the, the, the Sun Coast uh, toll road up right. here, so it's a direct route to the airport. So. Right. So anybody wants so. to come down. You, you, we put your phone number up. You already sure. have your, we'll yeah. put the website, well, even though we've said it in the video, we'll yeah. also write it down. Yeah. So anybody who wants to get a hold can get sure. here. Yeah. And so tell me like right now, so tell me some of the cars, walk me through. Well, this is a 1958 Oldsmobile 88. Uh, this is a pretty rare car, in fact. It's fully documented. This car is 27,000 original miles. Wow. It had one repaint in 2003, uh, but you're looking at the original chrome, original interior. And the gentleman that ordered this car uh, ordered it with no outside mirrors, no clock, no radio, but he wanted the and no carpet, but he wanted the upgraded rubber mat, so it's got the little speckles in there. Right. And he also wanted full dish hubcaps. Now, one thing that's cool about this particular car is that if you know anything about Oldsmobile, 1958 NASCAR banned Oldsmobile for having a J2 rocket, and that's what he wanted in this car. So this is equipped with the tri-power setup. You got three carburetors right here. Wow. And uh, so it's a powerhouse for the day. And so is that like similar to what the Pontiac had later on? Little, yeah, right, little, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this is the first one to have the tri power. Uh, it's uh, probably right along in that area there. Okay. Yeah, I think they had tri power before '58, but uh, for Oldsmobile, for a factory factory engine, it was it was a pretty powerful unit for for Oldsmobile. So. so this one, wow, this looks like it's rare. Like it was bought and then just put away. It was yeah, it never was driven much. Twenty seven thousand original miles, and like I said, it's all fully documented. Uh, so it's a rare piece. I, I love the color of it. Uh, and he, when he repainted the car, this is the original paint on the inside. Right. So he just wanted a new shine put on the out exterior of the car. Right. So and the engine is the gold. That, yeah, the that, gold that's, engine. Yeah, yeah that's, that was that's also Bill's, also Bill's yeah, cars. Yeah. They all had the yeah. gold engines back yeah. in those days. Yeah, and he didn't want power brakes, but he wanted power steering. So. Now is that air? Uh, 
this is a generator. Oh, that's a generator. Yeah, that's okay, a generator. it's not the alternator. Right. It's a generator. Yeah. So yeah. it's this really way original. before we're alternator. Okay. So, yeah. so this is yeah. actually so. really old. Yeah. So, but wow. it's, a, it's a neat piece. It now, are these, drives great. Are so. these like the, I, I know I'm not familiar with these, yeah. but the oil, like back in the 50s, I'm these having like an oil air, can yeah, air. These are air in this one. So, okay. yeah, but uh, you can, you can. But were they, they, were the they originally would have been the oil bath cleaner no, or no? Or this cleaner. was an air. Yeah, this someday. was the air okay. cleaner for that. And you had two of them on either side. Right. So, <clears> okay. Well, that's just crazy looking just open up. I don't think right. we've ever seen that. Right. We got 500 videos. Well, Cadillac, of you know, Cadillac had the kind of like a, a stealth wing shaped uh, air cleaner right. on those with the, with the big engine that they had. So. So they had some cool features to them, and then Chrysler, you know, they had their own little do that right. there. So and it's a '58, you said '58, because it's got the same '58. My uncle had a '58 Cadillac, so it had the quad. GM, yeah, yeah. GM looked real similar to each other all across the board. Cadillac, Oldsmobile, Buick. Buick looked real similar to this. Right. Um, but uh, but yeah, and they all had their little little uh, uh, quad headlight system here. So and then '59, that's kind of went to change around. Which looks more like the Chevrolet over here. Right, and that's the and and basically a car like this, these back in the day in the fifties, it's not like today where you have it like that truck there is the same right. design for two thousand five right. to two thousand twenty. Right. 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 These things change drastically exactly. every year. Yeah, and you're going into the jet age with this car here too. So you got like the jet burner style taillights right. on it. And you know, and, they, and back then they, they was proud of their cars. You know, they they, they put the. I think Carly Earl said, if you find a spot, put chrome on it. You know. Right. And so, but it looks like they also were were getting starting to get rid of the of the fins. Like they the they, biggest they, fins well, were the fifty seven. Well, they, they the fins are still coming in. So you know, you're still fifty eight. So the the tall fins didn't come in until about sixty one. Right. With fifty nine Cadillac and then the sixty one Imperial. Okay. So, uh, but uh, you know they always tried to hide the gas cap too. Oh, yeah. That's kind of a neat feature. Kind of right like the '57 has right, it there. Right, right. So oh, very cool. There's more metal in that little fin right there than there are most Honda yeah, fins. Yeah, you know, that's so. what I'm saying. <laughs> and so then, what's this one? This is a '49 Cadillac uh, Custom. Uh, this has been completely custom built. So it's a resto mod it's then a resto underneath. Mod. Yeah, we got you know custom interior, um, uh, air suspension. All the state of the art. Does it come with a black Disney. cowboy hat in the back? It comes with a black cowboy okay. hat. Okay. Yeah, so. so, and that's not factory, guys. No, no, this is definitely <laughs> not a factory car. So the hood's been channeled a little bit. It's been uh, been done up right. So, has the grill been changed a little bit, or no? No. Oh, this wow. is, this is with a 500 Cadillac engine. Uh, now this is not. No, none of okay. this. This is all customized. Because it's cleaned, is yeah, anything? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got a clean firewall. The, the inner fenders has been cleaned. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of work to the body on this car. Man, what is that engine? That's it's a 500. Big, I was gonna say a yeah. 504. They call yeah. it a 501s yeah. or whatever yeah. those things were back in the day. Yeah. Man. So and it's got headers. Everything's custom yeah. on there. Serpentine belts. Yeah. Air suspension. You can adjust the air ride on it. You can you can do all kinds of things with it. So. Yeah, neat piece. So. And just because I know you guys in comments and go, how much? I'm like, we don't. I don't get involved in how much. That's why you have to <laughs> call, call the gentleman. Yeah, give me That's a call. why you got to yeah. call so you guys can yeah. talk. Mon I don't talk numbers. So then, what we got now, here? This, this is a, one of the more iconic uh, lines for Chevrolet. This is a 1960 Chevrolet Impala. Gotcha. This is a factory AC car. This is an original car as well. Uh, this is this is 48,000 miles. Wow. Uh, the passenger front fender has been repainted, but for the most part, the car is is uh, completely original. Uh, it's got dealer installed seat covers on the seats, so, oh, wow. uh, which is a lot of people remember back. <laughs> My grandmother used to put these on. Yeah. yeah, they used to be yeah. saving it for yeah. somebody else. Yeah. So, in this case, it worked. Yeah. Well, is that factory air yeah, down it's there factory underneath? Factory EC car. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Everything works on it. Uh, the dealer installed seat covers. You got dealer installed door edge trim. This is not that plastic stuff that oh, okay. you see on that you can get from AutoZone, but this is the original metal stuff. I do have a factory set of skirts over there against the wall. Okay. Uh, the previous owner added the Continental kit to it. What about the side pipes? Is it? Well, this is the correct. It's got the original exhaust on the car. Okay. Uh, but the previous owner added that chrome uh, extension okay. on there. I call it the chrome curb feeler exhaust. Right. You know so. But, uh, and then he added the Continental kit to the back of it. Wow. Now we've seen a lot of the, the uh, sky Skyliners that have these Continental the Ford, kits, but you don't see a yeah, lot on the Impala. Yeah, um, 
60 to me, my opinion, had so much styling in the back of it by, by this point. You know, 59 had the big wings on it. Right. Uh, they didn't flatten off like in, in 60. They kind of toned it back uh, for 60. And, uh, and they put this nice uh, rear panel on it with the, with the six tail lights. And to me, I, I think it doesn't need to be hidden by a spare tire. Right. But, uh, uh, to each his own, right? Now this, and that's removable. If somebody, that is it's very a, removable. So this is the original bumper, and it does have the original splash pans underneath. Okay. So that can be taken off, and the original equipment put back in, yeah. in place. So and if you need a spare car, you could probably fit it inside it, it this trunk. It sleeps six, so you know if you want to take the family and, and all that long. And this has air conditioning. This, this says the right there, so car. that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now, a true air conditioned car. If you notice, it has green tint to the glass. Okay. And that's that's a, tr a sign of a true air conditioning. And this does not have a post. Did, did, a did some top. so this is a hard top. Yeah. Were there some of this year that had a post? Yeah, you can get the post in this. You can get it in a sedan. You okay. could also get it in a four door hard top or a four door okay. flat top, which the top would hang over the glass, kind of panoramic glass in the rear, and the top would hang over that about a foot, foot and a half, and then it have no post in the side. It's kind of cool. So, and those are becoming a rare <clears> car too. So, this is really pretty. Really nice car. Yeah. Really For an original nice car, car it's, it's in pretty good shape. And then engine-wise, and this would be... It's a 283 oh, okay. uh, with a two-barrel and power seat. So. so this was more of the businessman's? Yeah, it's kind of a toned-down so. version. You could also get this with a 348. You could order it with tri-power right. and a four-speed. But uh, 283 was the most common. And no power brakes, obviously. No power brakes, but power steering. Okay. Got your generator up here. And then, you know, this is the original hood pad. This is the way uh, it came from factory. So, and that's to, yeah. just to, uh, yeah. to find something yeah. with the original hood pad that isn't either right. mouse eaten or tore right. apart. Right. It's, you got, you know, the right anodizing, all that stuff on all of it, just like it was yeah. when it was new. So. Nice. Sweet. So that's a nice one. And then, of course, over here, they got a big block. Yeah, this is, this is the powerhouse of the shop. Now, this is SS? This is a okay. true SS. Right. Uh, a lot of people think it's just an Impala, but this is actually considered an SS-427. There's no Impala badging on this whatsoever. So it's not Impala. It's not the kind of Bel Airs of that time right. period or the Capri from that right. period. It's, it's definitely not, not any of those. So. Okay. And it has all the original badging on it, right? Right. right. Okay. This car was uh, is uh, a new, true numbers matching 427. Uh, you could get... This car is actually very highly optioned as well. So um, say, is this hood? This is a different this hood. Is than... only SS models. Okay, because so, I've never um, seen this bump in no. these hoods. Uh, this is a domed hood. Uh, you only get this on the SS models, and the regular Impala hood was more flat. They had a piece of trim up the center of it. Right. You also didn't get the turn light indicators on the front fenders on the Impalas. Okay. Or the louvered front fenders. Oh wow! I've uh, never even—I don't think I've ever seen one of these, and I've seen a bunch without yeah. with these louvers on it. Yeah. So that's factory then. And this is factory. Uh, the Impala would have a, a Impala emblem uh, right. written in right here. So. And then is this the? These look like the shallow dish. This oh, is the rally wheels rally that you get wheels. on the SS with red lines. The Impala would have a 14-inch steel wheel okay. with white walls and a hubcap. Okay. Uh, so this is this is the SS package only too. Uh, this car is highly equipped. Uh, it's a factory air condition. There you go. Yeah, and a lot of people think these this chrome valve cover and the chrome air cleaner is like an add-on to it. But no, this is how the car came out from factory. You know, you got the right. correct correct uh, hose clamps and all that. Well, similar. Too, I mean, so. even the, the chrome here came on like big blocks, right. like Chevelles right. and stuff. They all right. have that chrome. Right. They, they, and these things are original. The finding original ones of these chrome yes. are, is yeah. rare. Yeah. Super so, rare. you know, we got power uh, or air conditioning, we have power brakes, we have power steering, we have power windows, we have tilt wheel, uh, we have an inside trunk release, which is sort of new for, for the time period, right. you know, 68. Uh, so that was uh, uh, something there. And uh, yeah, this, this has undergone a complete frame off or tissue restoration. It looks just as nice under, underneath the car. And these bumperettes look. also came with it? Bumperettes, yep. Yeah. Which is strange. The, 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 the emblem here is different than a regular Impala as well. The, oh, okay. the Impala had a blue insert and it was a little bit bigger. Uh, but yeah, that, that was a little bit different too. Only SS models. So. And this one, this is the original color, even though original it's had a color. frame on Yeah, Tripoli uh, Turquoise, I believe that's called. And then it had, so it was an original vinyl roof car, vinyl which, roof car. which nowadays, anything with a vinyl roof, the right. roof's gone. Right, <laughs> right. It, and down here, you know, You'd find that uh, a lot of the tops of the cars down here always rotted because of the salt right. air. You know, uh, the bottoms are good, but the top was bad. Right. So, 
but yeah, you've got. Uh, so this is an automatic car. Uh, the it's got that. Right. I call it an eight. I don't know why horseshoe. I've always called it an eight yeah. shifter, but it's yeah. a horseshoe, yeah. and it's got horseshoe the eight shifter. track originally yeah. in it too. Original eight track. It still works. I think there's Waylon Jennings in it right now that uh, that'll play. Look at the room, uh, man. It's a console car too, right. instead of the bench. Right. Right. And then you got the wood grain steering wheel. So. And that's the original. Original that's steering not a, wheel. That's not something right. somebody added. And then the dash is a little bit different on the on the ASS cars than it was the Impala. For one, you, you got the factory tack over on the side as well. So, oh, okay. Yeah. I'll have to go, yeah, have we'll to go, go over there and take, take a out. take a take you've a got back glass indicator uh, for your tail lights and turn lights. So really, uh, you can look in your rear view mirror. Okay. And see that your lights on. So. Oh yeah, there. So it's yeah. got a tack. Well, now you have the clock and tack. I wonder what would have been in there. Uh, Probably some idiot lights or something. Well, the, the instrument clutcher was a little bit larger on the regular Impala. Oh, so, so that's what it dash, is. The dash was a little bit different on the regular Impala. Okay. And, of course, this is a you know true AC car, too. So right. So you got the dash a little bit different on that as well. Right. Very sweet. But, and everything, I mean, even the the seatbelts, yeah. you know, they're GM. Right. So they're right. still right standard. And I can get the keys oh. here, and I can show you the inside the trunk here. Oh. And while we're talking, while he's getting the keys, guys, just remember: if you like this, go ahead and subscribe. But uh, check out his uh, check out the um, website because you have these cars up on the website. They are up on my website. And there's probably by you know it, we're we're filming this in October of 2022. So if you're watching this a year, if it if this is a year later, because you know we don't take anything down, go on the website because these cars may have. I would assume. I'm hoping. They have changed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I, check I out and see his new stuff. <laughs> so wow. So that, uh, that's an original. That's the original rim, but right. the, the tire, tire is different. obviously different. So but, right. Um, uh, if yeah. I if and it was my personal car, I believe I'd probably try to find the red, red line tire to put on that, or or just a black wall right. tire. Now are these reproduction red lines that are on it? These are reproduction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then when you look inside the trunk here and put the mat back, but you can see how they did the, the overspray. And that's how right. the car would have came out factory. They didn't try to finish the cars out back in the day like like you see some of the car right. shows and things. Well, they but didn't think they were collectors. It was just a driver, you know, just yeah. for a daily use car, so. Wow. And that's another big trunk back then. Yeah, another big trunk. So. Yeah. This one sleeps yeah. about, you know, four or five. Yeah, there was no, <laughs> compared to the, the, the trunk lids and the, and the room in cars today, there's no, right. like, I, I grew up with these, I'm 55, so these were like the used cars right. that everybody had, right. and everybody, you could, you could go and you would drive to like, um, if you, not Disney World per se, but if you went to somewhere that paid by the number of people in the right. car, there'd be three or four people. Right. You hide in the right. trunk, get through, right. exactly. pop it back open, everybody gets back exactly. in the car. Exactly. So... So, so, and this is a little 55 yeah. Oldsmobile here. Okay, and um, I love these. I've seen these before. This is a it's Honda. got the world. Yeah, yeah got the so. world on it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is this has had a frame on restoration. Uh, I don't know who did the work to the car, but they matched interior to the paint very nice. I thought. Okay. Uh, this has got an updated engine in it. It's got a 371 out of a 1957. Okay. Uh, but it's still a, a good running car. But, and uh, 57 is still kind of oh, period yeah. correct. Yeah, I period mean. correct, and all bolts up fine. So this is a power window car and power steering car. And the holiday, and we've seen a couple of these. I think NPD yeah. has one or two in their collection. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But I've never really seen one that was kind of be able to buy. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Most everybody has these in the collection that they don't want to sell. So and look at that Art Deco with the glove compartment with yeah. the clock in it and everything. So that is really cool. What's the, and now I see a button that's probably not stock in there underneath or is that something that would be yeah stuck? they've got a uh you know the the old fuel pumps they they couldn't find some of the parts for a long time okay so people are now generating the newer stuff so that's actually um uh controls an electric fuel pump under the okay. car so. i only ask because i know you guys would be going that's not stock yeah, there's, not a, there's stock. a there's a there's a button yeah, yeah, you know and then so. check out the headliner too with the chrome bows and oh wow that, you know that's yeah there's more chrome on the headliner here <laughs> than in most cars nowadays and this leather, guys, this this is like new. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at it here. You can almost smell it. Um, and with the the colored inserts of it and yeah. everything else. Yeah, I thought it matched pretty good. So. Yeah, it's a and this is and like with the electric windows, I mean that's kind of a rarity yeah. for that time yeah. period. Yeah. But this is like, 
if you're in Miami or California, but this is, I don't know if it's called Coral. It's kind I of call me. it Coral, but that's... <laughs> it's a waiting car. This car screams like... Florida. Yeah, either Florida, <laughs> California, Hawaii, right. you right. know, if you're somebody wealthy that lives in right. Puerto Rico or an island somewhere, right. you need this car. And look at these hubcaps. These I mean, the spinners on it. Yeah. These, these are an aftermarket spinner on the car, but the Oldsmobile would have came out with a spinner similar to that. Okay, and these are real white wall tires because yeah. I sometimes yeah. I look and you have that metal plate that's on the rim. Right. right. But these are actual big wide yeah. white walls. These are the correct tires. Yeah. So. And it's a beautiful car. The nice thing is, I mean, these cars are all beautiful, but they're also obviously drivable. Oh, you yeah. know, they don't have to be museum right. pieces or or stuff. This is stuff you right. could drive every, you know, take right. out on a day like today that's, where it's 60 degrees and yeah. sunny and beautiful. Right. Yeah. That's what I want in here. Just, you know, I want some unique pieces that you don't see every day on the road or at other dealers, you know, that, that in the area. And, it's, and something you can take out and enjoy, you right. know. Uh, now this yeah. one, this would have been in my when I, I'm 55, so in '83, '84, the some of these were just like this: fat right. tires, skinny front tires. Right. Probably right. I don't know if it has air shocks, but it would have had air right. shocks. Right. And these, this is what a, a Chevy Impala SS. These things would have been about $1,500 cars when right. I was in high school, right. and this is what they would have looked like. Right. Exactly yeah, this, like this. This car is in on consignment. Uh, I don't own this car here, but uh, the, the, the gentleman that has it built it to kind of a race car. Uh, it's got a 15 gallon fuel cell in the trunk. Uh, the, it's been done all right. right. You know, the body is, is in good shape. The floor pans and trunk is, is immaculate in it. Uh, this is a true SS car. So you got the, the bucket seats. Right. Uh, he's got a shift kit uh, for the automatic transmission. Right, with a slap shifter. Right? right, right. And then, of course, he's taken some of the things out to put some of the switches and all that for the for the car. But he's, yeah. he built it to run. So this would be, like, for me, this is a fun car. And then on the hood, this is a fiberglass? Yeah, fiberglass hood. Okay. And I'll show you here why it has a fiberglass hood. But, yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So this is a 427, and uh, he's told me that he's boarded to a 440. Uh, he's got a Champion radiator in it, and he's running Evans coolant through the system. So if you guys know what Evans coolant is, it's, right. it's a, a, a pretty good coolant for keeping your engine cool. Uh, it doesn't play well with water or any other coolant. So, right. so got an updated brake system on it. Dual, uh, this, dual electric fans. Dual electric fans. And he's upgraded to the uh, EFI. Yeah. Yeah, the MSD up there. The uh, the um, this was a factory AC car, uh, okay. but he took all that unit out to get the the motor mounted in here. This right. was originally a 327 car, so. and it has the high rise manifold on right. it, so that's right. what the hood's for. But right. uh, Chrome will get you home on this one. Right, right. So, so <laughs> yeah, this is and uh, oh, and he's even got those mirrored the, you got the, the mirror over the the headlights. Yep. There, yeah. So. Uh, this is 66. Uh, this was the last year or the first year for the rectangle taillights on this. In 68, back here to the, the SS, that was the first year they reintroduced the six taillights on the Chevrolet. Okay. Uh, 66, they got rid of them. 67, they didn't have them. They had right. a rectangle uh, on that. Now, was it the Capri or the Bel Air that had two? Uh, the Bel Air had the two. Right. And so that, yeah. And then they you yeah. do the upgrade to right. the Impala, right. I guess it was. Yeah, same way with it started in 58. You know, your Bel Air and your Biscayne models only had right. two taillights uh, on each side. Okay. Uh, only the higher end models of Impala only have the six. Gotcha. So, gotcha. Yeah. Wow. So, and this is, uh, guys, this is a really, I mean, I'll be honest with you. This to me, I almost want to ask him after we get off camera how much this one is if I was allowed to take one. But you guys know April would say, Phew. Uh, we got other things to buy right now so but it, it, this is a really cool car i mean this is cool this is yeah i want to say it's 60s muscle but reality this is like 80s muscle guy yeah. this is yeah. if you watch you know some of the show the 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 ridgemont highs or any of the move right. the tv shows that were around high school right. and racing from right. the 80s yeah, this, is it. this these this would have been there that's perfect it's, it fits right in with a 69 camaro or 68 or right. 71 z28 anything this and would be large perfect enough for the whole family to get in yeah, yeah and that's the thing and again well is the fuel is the fuel cell in the trunk yeah, then in the trunk. Yeah. so this has a racy fuel cell which uh, actually 13 gallons that's you probably it, it's a pretty good pretty good size unit yeah. and you better be looking for a gas station within 13 right miles. So, yeah. you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun and then what we got next to it uh, here this is a 1950 cadillac okay uh, this is a 61 series you go hard top this is an original car with one repaint 
Okay. Uh, but the original chrome, uh, you're looking at original sheet metal on this car. Uh, the underside of this car is just beautiful. Um, it's it's a uh, it's a pretty good survivor. Yeah, it does look like even the it's, interior. The, I mean, the you can tell it's a survivor. Soft. It even has that. It has a, a smell, guys, which that, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's my old smell my uncle's cow, his 58 and his 59, right. both right. had this exact smell. Right. Right. Um, it's not a bad smell, but you it, it kind of nostalgia. Right. Right. So it's kind of like nostalgia, and it's a silver one with the. It's got that. Uh, the Cadillac the medallion. Cadillac right. medallion on the front. Um, and it has, a, you know, the, it's still going back to the interesting starting system of the cars back in the day because you can turn the key, and all it does is just power up the system. But you have to push the button in on the dash to get the the car. So this started. is a push so button car. This is a push button car. So way before Nissan yeah. or anybody yeah. else had them, because yeah. so. Um, wow, that's a beautiful car. And nice I have a visor nice. in the trunk that goes, that if someone wanted to put over the, the, the big, windshield here, kind of give it that sinister look, right. uh, you could. So, you know. And a lot of them have, I mean, I would say half the cars you yeah. see have that big yeah. visor. Yeah. So, And this had that sleek, this was like that super train, you know. If you ever watch a Bugs Bunny cartoon, this is the car you always right. see. This is the car that was used in uh, Roger Rabbit. Right. Um, so all your 50s cars, because it's so sleek, I mean, look at the curves and the sexiness of this car. Even the air dams right after the front doors. This was a super sexy car back then. This is what Cadillac, that's why if you look at the Cadillacs today, they're really sexy. Right. They're right. a little squared off. Right. But Cadillac always has a styling that is like definitive of Cadillac. Right, exactly. And exactly. And, and, and another thing, too, is, is what I thought was kind of cool. When you look at the car and you think, my gosh, this thing's a land yacht. This thing's just yeah. massive, big. But when you're actually sitting in the driver's seat, it doesn't feel any bigger than any modern car right. uh, on the road right now. And I think it's the way the styling was. You got the lower fenders and the hood, and you, you don't notice the size of the car. Right. Uh, but when you take it down the road, it's just like riding on a cloud. Yeah, and it is such a, this is a land yacht, but it was it is cool. Yeah. Um, even down to the, the dual lights, but the one lights in. Yeah, I've got a 10,000 pound lift and it grunts every time it goes to pick it up. So, uh, <laughs> and then the engine, and this is all original as this well, is probably. This original engine. Okay. Uh, uh, this is a 331 overhead valve. Uh, the previous owner did take, uh, may have to lift up on the hood. A little okay, bit. a little bit will. Yeah. I didn't bring my morning muscles. Oh. Lift up on the bird. Lift up here? Yeah. Really? Wow. You can't try doing that. Try putting any kind of lift on a on a modern thing and this sheet metal so thin it would have bent. Right. Wow. And so this is is this one of those? That is what, an oil bath cleaner. That's an right oil there. bath cleaner. Yeah. So that's what I was talking about earlier, guys. So you they're they're different. Now a lot of people have converted yeah. them just to paper right. or right. whatever air regular Actually, air. Actually, oil bath was very, very good for the, the, the day. I mean uh, nothing got through it, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. And wow, this and so yeah, this is as you could tell, this was not, this has not been redone. Oh no, it's original. So this is original because yeah. you could yeah. just tell by everything that's yeah. in there. Yeah. Um, but wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really really. You got your you know. A lot now of you do have a lot of your old wiring and stuff. Everything just like it was so, in the fifties. So. Um, and this is your your uh, washer jar. That's where you put your washer right. fluid and all that. So. Now did some did somebody put the heat shield on there just so that the yeah. fuel line doesn't bubble away? Right. Yeah. You it don't was, want to have. Stops. It was notorious for vapor locking. Right. You know. So, uh, the previous owner he used to use this car as wedding for a wedding uh, reception right. and thing. So. Um, he didn't want it to, to break down. So you just put wedding. some DEI on there, which right. that's what you guys use. We, right. we talked about it on the Hot Rod Power Tour this year that a lot of cars, it was so hot right. that DEI was making a fortune right. at every stop because right. right. you basically to keep the vapor lock so your cars don't uh, boil away and, and stuff. But. Now, he did add power steering to it. This is not a correct uh, system okay. for the car. I do have the original uh, steering components to go with the car if someone wanted to put it back stock. I don't know why you would. Right. But because uh, the car just drives just uh, beautifully, you know, going down the road with power steering. So. Yeah, it's just, it's really beautiful. And like, I mean, you can look, just look at the, like I said, this metal hood. Yeah. This stuff was metal. Oh, yeah. It's not yeah. the tin, like, like now you're not going to bend the hood over in half with right. this thing. Right. So, wow. Right. Very cool. Very cool. Sweet. And Mission Classics, remember? Mission, Mission Classics. Classics. I'm going to keep saying the names. You guys remember. <laughs> and it's missionclassics.com. 
So missionclassics.com. Any of these cars, they said we could, they could ship them anywhere you want. Anywhere around the world. April, should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one. It says merchandise store right here merchandise store link you will see it says https forward slash junkyards dash bar dash barn dash finds with and you click on that and it's going to take you here